lot of times we'll see guaranteed diamonds based on score estimate. How about a guaranteed troll that's not even close to a start a video, a level 5 fallow deer that only goes up to 236. I think diamond is 251, but this is probably the worst video to start out with a troll because we're carrying the 3030 today and at any given time in Call of the Wild there are a number of grinds that we kind of have active that we don't do a ton of content on. And the biggest reason for that is I feel like a lot of times it gets repetitive so I tried to kind of come up with ways to make it interesting and what I wanted to do today was basically only use the 3030 but only show basically fallow deer or seeker deer, I kind of want to work on both, that have at least a score estimate that goes up to the diamond requirement but I guess also we should include in that max levels even if they don't go up to the requirement so obviously this guy is just a gold. 225 at almost 95 kg is pretty unfortunate, but kind of pleased with a hard shot. And yeah, hopefully no more of those, but the goal for the rest of this is to pretty much grind as normal with the M1, but none of that's going to be shown. Only the big level 4s or 5s with a good estimate are going to be in this, and I think it'll make it interesting and allow us to do a bit more grinding without the necessity of showing all the kills that would be kind of that repetitive part that I mentioned. I almost didn't even realize that is a 5 all double 3 fallow deer and it's actually in the max weight range and it's probably the smallest score for that weight range. So there is like a really slight chance that the max weight estimate threes can be a gold and that's sort of the main thing that I want in this grind is a rare gold. And naturally we get one that is pretty much around the weight that you would need, but has like the lowest score that those can end up with. So, I mean, nice to get another rare. And again, actually not an animal that was meant to be in a video like this, but kind of just seems to be what's showing up today. It is going to be our best piebald fellow, I do believe. It almost has to be. And we're not too far from where we killed our first ever piebald of this grind. We're kind of along the river in the middle and just... Go figure, he was hiding in the shadows, and if not for the fact that he turned a little bit and looked a bit different, I'd have probably shot him in the head and no idea, but I mean a 161 score, about 10 below gold. Hopefully if the rate that we're getting rares lately continues, we can get our gold rare sometime in the near future, but I mean still a very cool looking deer and actually 2 for 2 on 30-30 hard shots so far. Man, I don't know if that was back in the shadows or if he got here late, but this is like the exact opposite of what I thought this video was going to be. And by the way, we've shot like 10 fallow deer bucks here or more. And I'm just kind of going around to claim one kind of happened to be standing over there. And it's another five, this time I think plenty big enough to reach diamond. But I really thought that we'd just be shooting a bunch of fours. And there have been none that have gotten even up to that 251 estimate. Finally, we see anything above that, and I wouldn't be shocked if he's kind of right there at that 260 mark, but the wind isn't very good. This is actually the last fallow place we gotta go, so I'm not worried about trying to be very fast here. We gotta reset the time to go for a Sika anyway. Maybe if we can get into the brush there, we can either try to call him in or just go for a shot, but kill figure two fives and a piebald now. He's alert out there at about 90. I'm wondering if we need to just take that shot. I mean, it's well within range. It's just tough to actually see him. Like, we have to be actually standing to have him in view. Yeah, I kind of figured that might spook him. So, I guess the way to go about this is going to be to fast travel back across. Just because he's going to sort of run and just eventually go nervous. It's unfortunate that he was in that specific spot, but he should be coming down across here. And eventually, he should kind of just stop out there. And what we might do is go for a little bit of a longer shot. It'd be really cool to get like a drop shot like we have with the others, but we'll kind of see what we can do. That would have been pretty close. Pretty close to being underneath the lungs, I think. So that might not have been the best move. That might have been just a little over ambitious, but luckily he's coming back. I don't want him to get, like, obscured by the brush again. We'll maybe wait until he gets past here. I mean, he should kind of notice us. 
And I still do want to at least attempt a hard shot, but it's a little less of something we can afford to mess up this time. I don't really want to take that kind of angle because the 30-30 doesn't have the best penetration, and of course, it's a little bit low for a fallow deer sized animal anyway. I can't tell if he knows we're here. I mean, naturally, we're two for two on him just being in a perfect spot to kind of stay out of our line of sight. Just getting to a spot where we can see him has been so difficult. We're just going to take a long shot when we have it. And at the very least, we should get the score out of him. I never thought that was going to be so difficult. And actually, he ran over there and died by some of the other ones that we shot kind of in the process there. So not the best showing. And naturally, the two where the score didn't matter, the first shot was just fine. I'm curious. First shot. A little bit too far forward. I mean, we were close, but he has a 262 diamond. Actually, shot him with his eyes shut, which is something that we don't often do, but I was pretty confident with that racket, it would have to be somewhere in that 260 range. And yeah, not the best first shot, but at least we followed up with a double lung. Almost got the heart anyway. I mean, we'll go ahead and throw that guy in the trophy lodge somewhere. I don't know if he'll make it into the main lodge. Actually, at this rate, if we find any other interesting fallow deer, though we're pretty much done, we can make a multi-mount out of what we just had today. It technically could be even worse. There are smaller level 1 stick of deer than even this guy, but I feel like since we haven't seen anything big, this will be a perfect transition into the stick of deer part of this video, and I am really pleased with the number of fallow deer we shot. I didn't keep track, but you can see we've already had a number of stick of deer, but from even the diamond there, all these are in like the same kind of time frame where we just had a bunch at that lake and pretty much all the places we went, we got a bunch of them. So even though we did kill a rare today, it wasn't like the gold that I'm looking for for the multi-mount. And I'm hoping maybe that's going to be some decent progress. And if we can do even half of that with the Sika Deer, I think we'll be looking pretty good at trying to get an albino one of those one of these days. I am surprised that can even be a six point and still be a level one, but... We'll kind of take that as our transition, and I should have looked when I claimed that. I think Diamond is 197 or 198 for them, and I think more often they get into the, like that Diamond estimate range, so hopefully we get to take a bit more with the 3030, and I guess technically I should have taken that one with it, but it wasn't in that range anyway. You know, I never actually did go and look to see what Diamond estimate is for Seekadir. I know it's right in that 190s area, and... I think there's a chance that up to 195 this guy could be big enough, and again, it's not really about like maybe this is going to make diamond as much as it is about just like trying to get the decent sized ones in the videos, so I think we'll definitely try to take this guy. The issue is, I can't really see where he's at, so I hope we got him. He's going down, so we must have, and there was a third one in there. I don't know where he would have got to either, I guess that's him there. Try to put the correct lead on him because the 3030 is like a slower firing round. Definitely not lungs, but he might go down. In the meantime, we can hopefully go and see what we got for that spotted one and at the very least actually know the number we're looking for. And I guess technically now that we've shot one, we sort of do have more Sika Deer than Fallow that kind of fit into this category and Diamond is 198, so I guess close enough. But this is basically the second to last lake I wanted to check. And I don't really think they drink down here that often. So this is my second trip back to here. And only because there was the max weight track that happened to be the one that we shot. So maybe there are some down there. We're going to be kind of the end of their drink time. But we might as well kind of scoot down there and look. And maybe actually now that I think of it, we can find that one that we shot on our way. As far as I can tell, there were some Sika deer here, which is good to know. Because I don't really check this lake very often. But they seem to be all kind of smaller ones, so I think we'll be happy with what we got. I'd say the total between Sikadir and Faladir was easily 50 or 60. And of course we got the couple of good ones there to go and take a look at in the Trophy Lodge, so I think we'll hop back and go ahead and do that. You know, I actually kind of like the way that looks with the diamond and the two piebalds in there, so of course the 262 diamond and the 161 piebald are from today. And then the 144 piebald in the back is the one that Kyla shot on the fellow guide when she was here and making that. And I didn't really have a place for him, so I kind of like it in that multi-mount. We have like, I think it's a diamond and two albinos right now in the main lodge. And I don't really care for that as much, but somehow with the two piebalds, I actually kind of like it. So unfortunate that it's kind of ended up that way, but 
nice to make some progress and to get so close, like getting the max way to submit piebald and just being the level 3 and about 10 under, it's got me really looking forward to continuing that and hopefully we can continue with the Seeker Deer grind as well and get some kind of albino. I really think that would be a cool addition to the main lodge. But anyway, that's going to be for another day. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.